people who want to start ministry then they go and buy balloon they get a, a, a banner they get a, a posters they do offering bus offering bag they buy tray with water for the man of god and cheer and then they say come to our church no every church starts as a house of prayer those of you who god is calling into ministry let me tell you start calling people and say i'm starting a new church oh pastor femi you would like to come and visit maybe god is talking to you and you oppress people and say remember you are my classmate i mean i told you this thing right from 100 level so it's not new to you can you come and join me be the secretary you never start ministry that way every true ministry must register a track record in the spirit of a season of prolonged prayer non-stop i'm i'm telling you the foundation of a formidable ministry that is unshakable you must pray you must pray you must pray anything that attacks your prayer life is about to destroy your dominion did you hear what i said anything that attacks your prayer life i'm busy you know before i didn't have a job now i have a job and uh, i come back by nine o'clock if a thief holds a gun by one o'clock will you wake up or not if the thief says stand up stand up now otherwise i'm going to blow your head will you say thief let me tell you you came in the wrong day i came back from nine o'clock i mean i mean you two you know how nigerian jobs are they don't give us enough time can you come back in the morning you stand up why because there is you 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 already sense that thief has a gun holding it with one hand but there are spirits that fly around our territory and you snore your way until the scepter falls from your hand and you get up and talk and think that just because uh, you are confessing i change this ah, it takes prayer let's not mock ourselves hallelujah this is the pride that has destroyed many people who begin to see the anointing in their lives they just feel what is it this thing that you can do i can do it just give me chance and see listen let me tell you when you see people executing effortlessly they have paid the price in the secret place believe me believe me oh god is touching somebody now and you see somebody falling under the anointing you come with your own zeal and pride and say look god is the god of all flesh the, the curtain has been torn uh, you know left and right there's no priest again no mediator and and this is why many pastors mock themselves on stage we come up and stand bragging making our voices husky and god is here right now and uh, you're about to see what will happen here and at the end and you know members are very dangerous people they note everything you say you said the power of god will move so they are waiting at the end of it you try and say you people did not fast and then all these things and you say look this guy is it that you cannot play this keyboard because they think it's a charm clashing a cymbal and playing keyboard they are they are, they are charms like a genie that you invoke and people fall and usually they will find one light sister that can be shaking up and down say you stand up why do we do this listen power is real pay the price through prayer pay the price through prayer write four things that prayer does in terms of dominion number one prayer is responsible for building your discernment your growth and giving you direction prayer do you know i have discovered that over 60 percent i'll repeat what i just said but listen over 60 percent of the challenges that befall men on earth is the issue of direction direction what to do where to go lord should i be in zaria now or should i leave lord is this house your will for me or not if the issue of direction is sorted out many people will not be where they are prayer gives you access to discernment discernment to be able to test and sense the spirits behind operations and to be able to know how much the hand of god is in a system and a process so that you don't waste your time you don't have all that time prayer is responsible for spiritual growth look at me i will not boast of knowing everything about the kingdom but i want you to present one believer for me who is not a serious person of prayer 
but has grown so spiritually it's a lie it's impossible to pray and neglect the word because when you pray you must write something the holy spirit speaks when we pray if you have not had god for a long time it may not just be that your ears are blocked it may be that you have not you have not forced whatever is blocking your ears to be open discernment can be developed when you pray god speaks i don't mean prayer for two minutes in, in anger and annoyance and sleeping and waking up prayer with your heart heartfelt prayer lord you spoke to me about ministry speak to me what is wrong with this family nobody's rising nobody's succeeding the last person who would be great had a mysterious accident somewhere lord i'm making an inquiry i must find what is the mystery behind the wickedness in this family and all of a sudden the spirit of god starts speaking communicating to you get my message the voice of god speak to you many people do foolish things that's why a man of god can just get up and say i think that we should open five branches did you pray are you sure god was in it you know our fathers of faith used to ask and say is god in this thing it used to be like a little old school it's not old school though it's not old school no matter what price you will pay to ascertain that god is in what you are doing please i beg you in the name of jesus pay it to marry pay it i think i, I god gave me a brain i feel like having 11 children you better pray you better pray pray don't let carnality drive us we live I, i'm very serious carnality has destroyed many people we don't seek god for direction we seek him when we have gone and messed up and it has backfired we now run and say god why didn't you stop me and god said me no i gave you a will i've already said let them have dominion if you return back to me prayer is a sign of humility it's a sign that you are aware that you are incapacitated prayer is a great sign of humility imagine that you make somebody maybe a director in your company and he never comes to your office to ask for questions never comes you are telling him if there's any confusion please come to me you call him after two weeks is there any no 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 boss I'm, I'm okay i mean you just taught me and then you go and stand and check his unit and see the rubbish he's doing and say why didn't you come say boss i've told you Shabi, you say if i need i will come there you are destroying that man's company and your pride prayerlessness is pride though it's not just sin it's pride Will I be able to live my life without prayer? Leading a ministry like this? You know, many of us is because we don't have any serious burden on you that has an eternal implication. Are we together? When you know that, let me tell you the truth. Ask those who are close to me. I pray to get topics. It doesn't mean I don't plan. But I sit down and I pray, Lord, please speak to me. Speak to me. Speak to me. The goal is not just to carry out ministry calendar, calendar events. The goal is to find out, make sure what you are saying is what the Spirit is saying. Because when you say what God is not saying, He cannot back you. Remember in the book of Ezekiel, it's wherever the Spirit goes that the cherubims follow. You see that? Don't just come and bring nonsense and want God to back you. God is not a houseboy. We must respect him to prayer. If you are here and you have never joined the prayer department, even if it's for once for prayer, why don't you make it this Tuesday? 